Ecosystem degradation has become a global concern with minimal restoration activities thereby affecting Mother Nature. Even as Africa emits too little, the continent suffers advanced effects of climate change. We, we, we don't have much to do with mitigation since we don't have many emissions. So the only way we can protect ourselves and our environment is to adapt to these changes that are being brought about by climate change. So I appeal to the, the, my fellow countrymen to take up the initiatives of restoring the environment, restoring our wetlands, our forests, uh, adopting uh, activities that can benefit both the community and the ecosystem so that we can build our resilience to climate change. The five East African member states are training environmentalists on adaptation to climate change within the Lake Victoria Basin. The project, uh, it's a regional project. So we, in the design of the project, we wanted to have a uniform approach to adapting to climate change within the region. And the training is now building capacity of, uh, of government officials, the private sector, NGOs, within the five countries on how to adapt to climate change, considering the specific climate change issues that we have that are affecting us within the basin. Professor James Okot Okumu, an expert in environmental science, is the lead consultant charged with the responsibility of honing technical staff in the sector with the required skills. We have got the pastoral community and the agricultural community. The agricultural community, they are, look, they are going to look at the, at the issues of uh, crop production. So how to have good crops that can withstand the shocks. How they can have water and conserve it so that the crops get the water and the nutrients. And the pastoral communities, how they can get water for their animals. How they can make sure that the, the pastures are maintained well, sustainable management of pastures. So in all these, we also apply the knowledge that is already within the community that is what we call indigenous knowledge. They are there, but they are silent in the background. They don't come. And we are losing them through, through these new generations because it's not being passed on well. National-based training is a critical tool for recruitment of communities to appreciate transformation and improved ecosystem management. Change affects people's life as well as also uh, affects ecosystem health and the functions. Without the trainings and the engagement and the proper planned and structured actions to strike the balance, to foster resilience and adaptation, you can't get the intended results. Campaigns to promote adaptation to climate change have been ongoing, but with minimal impact. However, with the transboundary engagement, chances are high that this narrative might change. <laughs> Dokas Kimono. UBC News.